Johnny Miller's dad, Larry, was his first coach. And he and John Gearston helped Johnny become a young phenom in his hometown of San Francisco. He was invited to a special junior membership at the Olympic Club and won the 1964 U.S. Junior Championship. He qualified for the historic 1966 U.S. Open at the Olympic Club, finishing in the top 10. His meteoric rise continued at Brigham Young University, where he became an All-American. Johnny went on to the PGA Tour and enjoyed two early victories. He quickly earned a reputation for being able to get hot and go very low. But it was on a magical Sunday at the U.S. Open in 1973 at Oakmont that Johnny Miller fully burst onto the national golf scene and torched the history books. In a legendary performance, Johnny hit all 18 greens and came from behind to shoot a final round 63, a score that vaulted him into the lead of the 1973 U.S. Open. He had to wait while others, including Arnold Palmer, desperately tried to keep pace. In the end, Miller triumphed by a shot. It is remembered as one of the greatest victories in U.S. Open history. Over the next three years, Johnny was one of the most dominant golfers in the world, winning 15 times. The highlight of this stretch was an astonishing eight-win season in 1974, in which Johnny was easily the leading money winner on tour. Johnny is one of the great ball strikers of all time. He was especially commanding in the desert, where he won nine times. He collected trophies from Bob Hope in Palm Springs, and added to his win total in Phoenix and Tucson. In 1975, his margin of victory in Phoenix was 14 shots, and in Tucson, nine shots. Fittingly, he came to be known as the Desert Fox. He already had his US Open victory and continued to be a constant threat in majors, where he was in the top 10 17 times, including three runner-up performances at the Masters. However, in 1976, the three-year major championship drought ended in a big way. A six-stroke win over Jack Nicklaus and Seve Ballesteros at the Open Championship at Royal Birkdale. Bunny, ever the competitor, clearly wasn't satisfied with a six-stroke victory. Altogether, Johnny won 25 times on the PGA Tour and became a member of the Golf Hall of Fame in 1998. His last two victories came at the AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am in 1987 and 1994. There you go, Jack. Beautiful shot from Johnny. The 94 victory at Pebble was especially memorable for the now 46-year-old semi-retired golfer as it occurred only 100 miles from where it all began for him in San Francisco. As Johnny's playing career began to come to a close in the late 80s, his new career was just beginning in the broadcast booth. Johnny started with NBC in 1990, and as in golf, he was a natural. Most famously, with Dan Hicks as his partner, he became known as the announcer that would tell it like it is. Rumor is, uh, and it's been around since the Ryder Cup, that uh, Americans do not like alternate shot. He was quickly a fan favorite for his straightforward opinions. And, uh, you know, uh, Nicholas was a great putter too, but uh, I think Tiger is even a better putter. He had special guests. He and Dan had special finishes. And over the years, he covered some of the most important golf tournaments in history including U.S. Opens, Ryder Cups, and so many more. Johnny's last regular broadcast was in Phoenix this past February, where he and Dan signed off for the final time. It was a fitting finale for the Desert Fox. Johnny has branched out in many ways. He has designed or redesigned 34 golf courses. The list includes Silverado Country Club in Napa, California, where he is a part owner. He is deeply involved in junior golf in California and Utah. 
Johnny is also very dedicated to a scholarship which provides funding to Native Americans. Additionally, he has a fantasy golf camp program at Pebble Beach and a golf academy. Mr. Miller truly enjoys playing golf with amateurs and likes to grow the game that way. Mr. Miller makes his home with his wife Linda in Napa, California and Utah. They have six children. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our 2019 recipient of the Francis We Met Award for Lifelong Contributions to Golf, Johnny Miller.